But you say you're gonna win this uh, this yeah, game. Man. That's what you're saying? Yeah, put it on the video. Alright, it's on the video. He say he gonna win. I think I'm gonna win. Uh put the money up? What you wanna do? Five? Nah, I ain't, I ain't putting no money up. <laughs> I ain't putting no money up. I'm confident, but I ain't that confident to put the money up. Put the dub up? This guy talking big for the camera. He said put the dub up. <laughs> It is a beautiful day and I'm about to go for a run. This will be my first time this year running without a jacket, running in shorts, the legs is out, and I got this fanny pack on because I'm hitting true old man status. And just because these shorts don't have pockets and I got my phone and I got this camera. I'm trying to get this cardio uh, back into my life heavily. So we're gonna do a quick 30 minutes. I should, that should hopefully get me to three miles. If I give me a nice 10 minute per mile pace, uh, that's the plan. seven seconds per mile not too bad for my first day back excited that I'm only gonna get better so I'm gonna stop in a second and do some push-ups too in this age of social media you got people on Instagram doing like the craziest workouts and the wildest stuff you've never seen and that's good because that's the you know the regular evolution of, of everything of people of fitness of all that but at the same time, nothing beats some good old push-ups, pull-ups, chin-ups, dips, squats. As long as you move, just fucking, just get out there and move. It doesn't matter. Just a light, quick 10, because I gotta continue my walk to the grocery store. I'm definitely gonna Uber back to the crib though because it's hot out here. But I love that heat. Like it, it doesn't take a lot for you to sweat out here. And that's what I'll be looking for. I'm gonna try and get into something interesting today. Uh, no promises though. I've been inside all day. Now I'm about to link up with my boy Chris is out here. And we about to go to the bar. Um, watch a little bit of basketball, play some pool, and just catch up. in the building yeah, I'm in this bitch be out yeah. here about to go and uh watch some playoff basketball play some uh pool or some shit <laughs> as soon as he come back around I'm gonna get you got it that's a jack and coke I love this shit jack and coke that's what I'm about to get <laughs> Yeah, Sushi, Sushi Liberia. Huh? Yeah. But you say you gonna win this uh, this yeah, game. That's what you're saying? Yeah, put it on the video. Alright, it's on video. He say he gonna win. I think I'm gonna win. Uh put the money up? What you wanna do? Five? Nah, I ain't, I ain't putting no money up. <laughs> I ain't putting no money up. I'm confident, but I ain't that confident to put the money up. Put the dub up? This guy talking big for the camera. He said put the dub up. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna film this shit and we're gonna see what's going on. Let me see if I can get a good angle right here.
You said you was getting that W. What happened, bro? What happened? Oh, I took the L. Dub C. He took that L. You know what? He got the L. I got that W. What's good? I dominated that boy from the whole game. It wasn't even really this close. It looks like it was close. Promise you, it wasn't that close. And look, he's trying to get more quarters. He's trying to run it back. I ain't even say I wanted to run it back. You trying to put the dub on this one? I'm ready. Nah, I'm lying. I ain't putting the dub. I'm still scary. I ain't gonna lie. I'm scary. I don't, I don't bet like that. This nigga likes to bet. I'm not a betting kind of guy. But I'm gonna go ahead and go for 2-0. Uh, we gonna complete a sweep tonight. 4-0 on that boy. To that guy. That guy loses. I win, he's losing. I'm not gonna lie, he was slightly inebriated because he sunk a couple balls for me, like not even on accident, like he lined up the shots and everything. So in this episode, I will be giving flowers to the woman that gave me life, that loves me. I'm not going to do all that because it's in the letter, but I'm giving flowers to my mom. So let me try to get her on the phone. I wrote you a letter and I wanted to read it to you. So I need you to make sure you keep your face on the screen. I know how you, you like to angle it up sometimes. All right. Dear Mommy Tar, when I think about your life story, it could be made into an Oscar award winning movie. All of my life you have been just my mommy. The one, the woman who raised me, clothed me, fed me, supported my dreams, and loved me unconditionally. Along with many other things. But over the past couple of years, I realized that you had a whole full life as an individual before you became my mommy. I wanted to know more about you as an individual to see how it compares to the woman that you are today and I have learned that you are like a fine wine, only getting better with time. You radiate a positive energy that is the most contagious thing on this planet. All of my friends love you because you are kind and genuine. People become obsessed with you just after interacting with you once because you are so captivating. You are always there to help and you have a solution or a piece of advice for everything. You are the most hardworking person I have ever come across. I worked overnight for two years of my life and vowed to never do that again. You, on the other hand, have worked overnight for 30 plus years so that your days would be free to take me to basketball practice and attend Sondama's many activities. Daddy has always told me that if I work half as hard as you do, I will go far in life. You are an amazing money manager. From your early entrepreneurial days of selling homemade candy as a 12 year old, I'm pretty sure I get my hustler spirit from you. You fall asleep watching Susie Orman and CNBC and all your money TV shows, Roth IRAs, 401k, and investment advice. A conversation about finance with you is what I would imagine a conversation with Warren Buffett would be like. As great as you are, I know for a fact that the world has not seen your best yet. You have ambitious goals and major plans that I am certain that you will accomplish because I know your determination, your focus, and your drive. It is unmatched. I've always been proud of you. I'm al I've always been excited to show you off to the world. I am lucky to be your best son. I love you, mommy. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you.
I, I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, wow. You are incredible. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a good one. <laughs> Oh God, man. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for the flowers. Yeah, no problem. Okay. No problem at all. I'll you the yeah, I'll let you know when I'm heading that way. Okay. All right. Another day, another dollar. I just want to take a moment to shout out to my consistency in all this. Uh, I think I found a nice little uh, streak. That I'm going on of filming and editing and posting. I mean, I'm only I've only dropped three episodes, so I guess that's not a lot. But uh, I'm filming every day. That's good. I'm headed to the grocery store right now to pick up a couple of things. The queen has requested some uh, some foods and stuff like that, and she's feverishly working on a project that she has going on right now which I'm not going to talk about, but uh, when that day comes, I will be vlogging it for sure, so then you'll know. So in order to support my queen, and I ain't doing nothing, I'm like, all right, I'll go, babe. Don't you worry about it. I got you. Just get sent me with the list. I got us. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work. That's what I hear. All right. Out here on the porch chilling. I don't know if I'm gonna get into anything today. I literally uh, went to the grocery store and then uh, wrote the letter that uh, I, you guys saw in the giving flowers segment. Um, and I don't know what else I'm gonna do, or I don't really have anything planned. But it's still just filming just so that's not an excuse like, oh, I didn't have anything planned or I didn't go out, so I'm not going to film anything because I'm trying to hold myself accountable. So, And I said I was going to post Monday, Wednesday, Fridays uh, until further notice, and that's what I'm going to do, even if it's a day of me doing nothing. Like today, going to the grocery store. Y'all didn't even see me go to the grocery store. Um, I went to the grocery store, came back. Yeah, I'm going to try to get into something this evening because this is kind of how it was yesterday too like I didn't do anything all day yesterday um, and then my nigga Booty came and scooped me at like 10 and then we went and played pool and stuff like that uh, so I'm going to try and do that tonight I just don't know if it's going to go down like that again um, shout out to Booty for coming to get me we got a nice little springtime rain shower going on I so I made a decision that I was gonna go to this cigar bar, but if you know me, you know I don't do nothing in the rain. And uh, even though I wouldn't be driving, I'd be Ubering, I'm still not even going out in the rain. I ain't got no umbrella, I ain't got no raincoat because they all in boxes right now. Kind of not eventful, but uh, I think this weekend will be pretty eventful again, so Monday's vlog. Wait for Monday's vlog. I'll 